Today, some big indie titles are coming to the Wii U, the Steam Store has been updated with the newly announced software, and Rock Band 4 is coming to current gen. Hey everyone, it's Sarah reporting in with their daily glitch for Thursday, March 5th, 2015. This past week has been filled with announcements of indie titles coming to our consoles, and today a list has been revealed of what is coming to the Wii U. Some of the titles coming to the Virtual Console are Never Alone, the game that pairs you with a spiritual wolf, and Octodad, the hilarious title that puts you in the shoes of an octopus trying to make it through a not-so-average day. Possibly one of the bigger announced titles is Don't Starve Giant Edition, which is a port of the PC and PlayStation 4 survival title. Your goal is to survive in the wild, and in the Wii U version you will have access to an in-game map thanks to the Wii U gamepad. All of these games are set to release in the eShop sometime in the next few months. After the GDC announcements on the upcoming Steam Machine, Link, and Controllers, you may have noticed an update in the non-gaming software side of the Steam Store. Although you cannot place any orders for the new software, you can scope out many of the Steam machines. The store features machines by Alienware, Asus, and many others, with prices ranging from $500 to $5,000. All of the software is set to release this November, but there is no date when you can begin to place your pre-orders. After quite a bit of rumors and heavy hinting, Harmonix has finally announced that they are reviving their Rock Band franchise. By the end of the year, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One users will be able to pick up Rock Band 4, but the details for how previous content and peripherals is still up in the air. The dev team cannot promise that previously purchased instruments can be used in the new system, but they are promising that they are working as hard as they can to make it happen. Additionally, they are working on the legacy entitlements for previously purchased DLC packs so that players can forward their music to the new systems. It is still very much in the air in terms of what will and will not transfer the new systems, which isn't too surprising from the lack of backwards compatibility current gen has. As of right now, we know that the title is coming in 2015 and that it will be the only Rock Band title to release on current gen. That's all for today, but you can let us know what you think in the comments below, follow us on Twitter at Glitchfeed, and check out our weekly Glitchfeed podcast on iTunes and right here on YouTube.